Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. Here we have, we have a physics problem about velocity of moving objects. And you will see this question, uh, this problem in the video description. A body moving in a straight line with constant acceleration passes in succession through point A, B, C, and D, where A, B equal to X, B, C, the distance of B, C equal to Y, and the, the distance between C, D equal to Z, where the distan distances X, Y, and Z are covered in equal intervals of time. Prove that 2y equal to x plus z. Okay, let's do it. Okay, hello dear friends. Now we draw a diagram. A, B, C, D. Why do I do? It's from shorter to longer and longer. Because the speed start, we just suppose it's a positive acceleration. So the speed, starting speed is slower and become faster and faster and faster. And with a faster speed for the same time, it runs longer distance. So I make this. Okay, so at point A, and before we, 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 we move on, we need to remember two formulas. One is the speed formula. The speed at an ending point equal to initial speed plus acceleration times the time it takes to accelerate. This is the speed formula. And another one is distance formula. The distance equal to initial speed times time it used plus half a t square. Okay, so this a, this t are all generic. And which used in our calculation is actually the same, uh, same a and t. Okay, so at point a... The velocity, velocity, we suppose is initial speed. There is no force, no any big bump added to this, uh, to this matter. It's just naturally staying there. No one push, no bully, no roughhouse, nothing happened. It is just doing its own thing. So the velocity is V. Zero. Okay, at point B, the velocity is V1. Let's say it's V1. Okay, and this V1 equal to, comparing to these two points, A is the initial point. So initial V0 times the time it takes because it's the same time interval. So the t is always the same t. It may be, may it be five seconds, it always five seconds. May it be five years, always five years. Plus, uh, this is not, I'm not talking about distance. Uh, initial speed plus Acceleration times t times the time it use acceleration because it's a constant acceleration. Okay, at c point, the initial speed at c point we call it v two. V two comparing with V2, we are talking about these two points. So the initial speed is V1 plus acceleration times the time it used. And V1 equal to V0 plus AT
right? And then we will add the AT again. So V0 plus 2AT, okay? And at this point BD, we actually do not need to, to, to write down the speed because in the calculation, we do not need to do it. That is the end speed, okay? So the distance between A and B, now we will need to use the distance formula. So between A, B is called X is, use this formula. Initial speed times time plus half a t square. So from a to b. Now from b to c. Oh, sorry. Let me raise it a little bit higher so you can see. From b to c. b c equal to y, as it tells us, is the initial speed from BC. The initial speed is V1. So initial speed is a V0 plus AT times time it used plus half AT square. Open it up equal to V0T plus a t square plus half a t square equal to v zero t plus three over two a t square okay so this is y x y here x here y here and from c to d C, D equal to Z, Z, and this initial speed is V2. V2 is V0 plus 2AT. So V0 plus 2AT, initial speed times time plus half AT squared equal to V zero T plus two A T square plus half A T square equal to V zero T plus five over two A T square. Okay? So up to now we can see actually quite clear. Now we just need to do some mathematical um, compilation so x plus z equals to what is x x is x is v zero t plus half a t square plus this is x z is V zero T plus five over two A T square. Combine the like item two V zero T plus two over six A T square. So equal to two V zero T plus three A T square. Okay, now two Y equal to 2 times y, y cos v0 t, did you see, plus 3 over 2 a t square equal to 2 v0 t plus 3 a t square. So it is the same. So we use logical proving, we use logical rationalization, and until we get from left side, from right side, we get into the equal result. 
So our hypothesis is right. Therefore, 2y equal to x plus z. Okay?